Good morning everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. I hope you're all well and thank you for joining me. I'm doing okay, thank you. I'm not liking the cooler weather, I have to say, at the minute. I'm not acclimatised, I will get used to it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I used to love the cold, the cold weather, but um, it makes me bones ache <laughs> now. So yeah, once I'm acclimatised, I'm sure I'll love it again. But at the minute, we are, yeah, we're definitely cool bright and sunny but very cool this morning here in Lincolnshire in the UK. So back to this beauty. She's got her name look beauty. So um, I've done quite a few bits and pieces that I said I was going to from yesterday. So I have put a closure on. It looks like black um, but it's very 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 dark brown. Um, so it goes with all the, the colours here as well. I mean black would have been fine but I thought the brown was a lovely one. I've put the topper on um, let me move it in so that you can see a little bit. Yeah, so I've put some uh, black lace and then some creamy beigey lace. Um, I put some extra gilding around the photo. Um, I put the word beauty on it and I put one of the fussy cut flowers from the kit on it. I don't know if you can see if it's catching the light, probably not, but it's got um, copper stickles on it, which is lovely. And then I've put some of the vintage lace you'll have seen this before I've used it quite a bit down the spine um, and it is glued on the spine but I haven't glued the frilly bit on the back I, um, I often can't decide with this whether to glue it down or not I do like it frilly if you glue it it goes flat so yeah I'm just gonna leave it like that for now this is glued on um, and I am going to I've got oh where's all my bits and pieces don't say I've lost them I've got so much here ready to to play with um, Hmm, maybe I have. I've got, I've got something out of the um, ephemera to stick on the back there just to give that a little bit of extra view. Do you think I put it away? I don't think I did. It's the book plate. So there's a big a book plate and then did I go through every one of those? And then I cut it out again, um, printed it out again smaller. So I thought I'd have the big one on the back and the smaller one inside. There they are. Look, I knew they were here somewhere. Yeah, so the part of the ephemera. So I thought, um, again, I'll do it either at the end or off camera because I can't move the book once I've done it. Um, yeah, so you can write or whatever on the back of the book if you want to. It just kind of gives it, it hides this a little bit and it just gives it a bit of, bit of something, a bit of interest. So the smaller one that I printed out, oops, I keep doing it upside down. Um, I thought I might just put it in the front and mirror it. When, you know, perhaps here, here, I don't know, when we do the embellishing. Anyway, don't lose them, Denise. So did I stick that in yesterday? I think I did. I think I, I think I stuck that in, but not the word on the front of it. So as regards words, I did beauty on here and friendship. And then on the front uh, pocket here, I've put beauty of the woods and um, I've just put it on a little bit of lace. And then I stuck the back pocket in as well with the lace and I've put secrets of the woods. Okay, so they kind of, um, you know, go with each other. Um, we made, didn't we, the, here they are, these. And they've dried really nice, actually. I'm pleased with the way they've dried for in here. Now I'm going to stitch around them. I think there's enough room. Yeah, I think there is just enough room. And I think it'll look nice with that stitching down there. So I'm just going to do a black um, zigzag stitch all, all the way around and then when we embellish we'll put something on the back of those so I'll, I'm going to leave them in there for now I think so I, I can get a gauge of um, how chunky <laughs> how chunky it is or becoming at the minute it's not um, yeah I love those although that's that's made quite a difference um, so what what are we looking at today Oh, what have I got to show you? So I just cut some, I don't know if I'll use these or not, but they're gorgeous, aren't they? Um, whale tails out of some of the papers uh, from the lovely uh, Happy Mail that you haven't seen yet, but you will, that um, Violet sent me. She sent me die cut so I can do my own whale tails in whatever colours I want. Um, I, cut, I cut around some of these, fussy cut, you know, closer to some of those. And then these, what have we got here? Just cut out and folded the pockets and I've done nothing to them. The four pockets from the kit. Because we're thinking about pockets now. She says four, yep, there's four. 
I haven't done anything other than cut them out and fold them and they are only on the 120. I might leave them on that to save a bit of um, weight in the journal because they're, they're reasonably strong. I I think I'd cut this out but not glued it hadn't I? This um, coin envelope would you call it? And then I folded up the so this is the to-do list and the notes and the things like that but I've just folded it up as a piece of writing paper. I've um, inked around it a bit. I've not done the inside, I'm not going to, I'm going to leave it and I'm just putting it in there as you know journaling, a big piece of journaling um, and I think I'll put that down on the page. I wonder if that needs a closure on it. I might put a circle on it that that goes in, we'll have to think about that won't we? I've only just folded it so but yeah, it probably will with something in it. Maybe put a closure on that. I was thinking of putting it on the page as a belly band. Yeah, and then something can be tucked behind it and we can decorate that. So that will be one. That's five there with those. What else have I got? I've cut the four postcards out. Now, I often use these for pockets or journal cards. They will, they will do both. So we'll just leave those until, you know, we need something. I've cut one of the corner um, flip pockets down. Um, I can't remember what size it was but I've cut it down to a 12 by 12 corner uh, square um, and it will go down like that as a pocket and then it will flip up for journaling as well so that's another one of those. The, these two um, file folders I have, shall I cut them now while I'm talking to you? You can see what I've done to them can't you? I've backed them on black because <laughs> I, I was thinking with the bits of black in here, I'm not going to overdo it but I'll leave a little bit showing. With the bits of black in here, I think it would be nice if somebody had something black to write on. Now, you'd need a black or a gold. Oh, gold. Gold or silver. I just thought about that. Pen. I'm going to have to do this bit by hand, don't I? Um, oh, yeah, gold pen on here would be lovely. But often, you know, towards Christmas, people buy the gold and the silver pens for their Christmas cards, don't they? So maybe you've got one. Yep, yeah, and just gives it a bit of something and I thought, let me do the other one then I'll show you, I thought these would go in those um, front pockets that we just, a bit more, that we just made. No, a bit more Denise, sorry about the noise, I only want a hint of it round. Got a hint of it there. That top bit square and then, oh I didn't leave any did I? In any, never mind, the tab doesn't have to have a, the rest of it's got it showing. Hmm. Yep, yeah. get rid of all that and that. Okay, so I thought these would go, which one did I think, in here. Now I didn't think about the lace, I should have cut the lace a lot short because obviously the lace goes quite a long way up in this pocket um, but they, they do go in low enough look. I think it depends how you put them in as well. Yeah, it's gone a bit further, or maybe not. But even with the lace there they'll go a fair way down. I trimmed them a little bit so they would. Yeah, last time I put them in this one didn't want to go very far. Yep, yeah, again they'll, they'll want some embellishments. Um, but that's that fold and that fold so we are just down to pockets and embellishments for the actual journal pages which is super so I was showing you through the pockets wasn't I I've also just cut round those and um, this is the freebie that I showed you and just inked around them in black so I, I still can't decide if I'm going to use them as pockets or they might make nice side pockets actually I couldn't decide if to use them for you know like a flippy flappy um, but I think that it's going to be chunky enough. I might just use those for yeah, side loading pockets. And then I've cut one or two. One or two, I don't know, two. <laughs> um, I haven't quite cut it, have I? Oh, I'll leave that on because I don't know where I want it yet. Look, it might just go behind. Um, what are these? Same there, look. Um, yes, they are. They are mini. <laughs> CD envelopes, that's it. Now I think the, I don't know if this back bit, well I think it's probably supposed to have a dual purpose. Most of the, the stuff um, the girls have done in the kit has a dual purpose. Um, 
so it could be the tag for the middle or it could be the back if you don't want to use a CD um, envelope yourself so I just cut two the two these are the mini ones you're from that are you yeah that's it so I haven't I haven't cut the tags for them or anything yet but yeah I just thought I'd get some pockety things ready and then this is one of the circle um, pockets that Tanya now I don't know if she cut that in half and just put half on there I think she did you could fold it over if you wanted to but I'm all for saving bulk at the minute in this journal so we'll just cut it in half so that will be glued on there like that and then that will go in there if you folded it over you'd have a, a better lip there but yeah it's a nice circular pocket so I've got quite a few pockets you know from the kit without making any at the moment uh, to play with so that that's what we'll do I haven't done anything with that yet this this is just three of the big tags that I've just folded over and not done anything with so so let's let's just see what we've got then so we've got this one which is quite a bulky um, so what do I want opposite that one perhaps this yeah, two interesting pieces, one front and one back. Um, I think I'll go for that big one in the back. Yeah, she's choosing the, the one page that's got lots and lots of writing on space. That's me. We'll just see what go. I've got two of them, look, so that's all right. So it could go there. Do I like this with that or do I prefer it? Where was it? All oh, these pages feel lovely. Do I prefer it with that? Is it the same paper? It's not, is it? No. The lighter one or the darker one? Hmm. I don't know. I like it with both. I'm not, you know, jumping up and down with it. So let's try the front and see if there's one that's Um, hmm. Mm, quite like it with that one. Mm, and I like it on there. Just like the background behind it. Don't think I've inked around that by the looks of it. <laughs> Well, bits of it, because I have round there, but I don't think I've done this. No. Oh, I've had a book, look. Yeah, I think I'm going to put this one on there as a belly band, because, again, this is quite a thick piece. If I get some of these thick pieces in. Now, what did I say about the closure? Because I might need to do that before I put it in. I don't really want a policy closure on it. I'm just thinking I could put... Um, I'll take that out for a minute. I can put like um, a ticket or something that it could just tuck behind. Is there enough to tuck? I think there is. I've got a bigger one. Let me just make it pretty. Put some, I'm thinking black around it because I don't want it too difficult to close. There we go. Got to keep my eye on my alarm. I've got it set for 20 minutes. I'm not sitting for more than 20. You'll have to go right down there. So that's coming and out. Or I could have it so that it goes round like that, couldn't I? On a, that might be better. Even that's not holding it up. It's quite a strong, quite a strong. Oops, I'm so sorry. I didn't sort that out, did I? Don't seem to want to go down there. And um, I'm just wondering about a something like a snippet on it that would hold it down. I've got one here that I can cut into. Let me just do that. Just something with a bit of weight to hold it down. And let's cut into that as well. Make it a proper proper snippet rather than a oh, we've got a scruffy bit there you'll have to come off yeah that's nice isn't it so go away just
just a bit of weight holding it down yeah like that might just cut a bit off there and go that way with it actually yeah okay let's do that then whoops <laughs> oh Denise he was back in the line for brains this morning <laughs> Look, I cut a little bow out as well with the, uh, I had a little bow die myself, die cut out of the paper because I had room on my paper to put something like that. Um, I'll put it on with art glitter, shall we? Now I know it's got to hold this in it as well, but I think with the book clo closing on it as well and that, yeah, it's just giving it a bit of weight look. Yeah, like it. might just put a postcard or something behind it so is that number one well apart from the two we did yesterday how many do you think we usually have between four and six don't we depending on the size of the um the number of pages um in each each side so we'll put, if we four Hmm. Should we aim for five? That was ten pockets plus the two. That's quite a lot, isn't it? Let's aim for five and see what we can do. I'll probably um oops, I've got a leak in. I put a lot on because I wanted it to hold well. Uh, embellish this as well when we do the embellishing. Tomorrow's going to be embellishing, all embellishing. Um but as always with these kits, it's beautiful enough to not to have to. Okay, so if I didn't want to add lots, if you're not the sort of person when you're making these that doesn't like lots of frill, frilly bits and extra pictures and things like that, um, you know, you don't have to. But all these beautiful things go, look, that ticket went, didn't it? That goes, yeah, a label to write. So much you could put on it. Gorgeous, right. And yeah, I think just for, obviously one that stands out better than that, but we'll probably just put um, a postcard once it's been inked round and what have you, as a journal card. Okay, do you think you're, so we ended up with it in the front in the end, did we? Yes. I think you've done well enough. So, glued, set. Again, this one, once the book's shut, it's going to train it to, to close, isn't it? Because um, I won't be putting a closure on that. Okay, so where shall we have you? What am I doing for time? Oh, I'm going to have to stop in a minute and come back. It's a good job I set it because I won't always remember. Ooh, I love that dark brown one. I'm wondering about a plane. So there's still lots of, yeah, quite like that there. Still lots of um, journaling, isn't there? And uh, just a little bit showing there. If I ink it, it'll be fine. That's it. Yeah, and then when you lift it up, there's more journaling, or it can be a secret, something in it. So I'll put it up a bit further, I think. Yeah, I've just got time, I think, to glue that down before I have to stop and go walk around. So I want it open there, so I'm just going to glue down here and here. So it can have a little bit of something tucked in it. Nothing huge, so I don't have to go too close to the edge. That's it. Probably need to turn it that way. Are we down? Oh yeah. Yeah, that needs a moment or two to dry. <laughs> okay, here we go. I didn't put the lid on me. Didn't put my microphone back on. Didn't put the lid on me glue. That's a good job. I was only gone five minutes. So that that should be. Uh, I press play. Yes, that should be stuck now. Just trying to get me my pin in here. There we go. Okay. So 
yeah that's nice it, it, obviously it wants some embellishing in it um yeah it's got a lovely lovely tuck behind there so we've got one front one back there so let's have a look where we where we put the front one so we've got the oh, right on the middle page that's quite got quite a bit of weight on it as well hasn't it um yeah i haven't decided what i'm doing there yet jury's out on that one okay so we definitely don't want anything on this page so possibly this one and well, this one's just crying out for something really isn't it so let's let's go with this one and thinking one of these that's rather nice isn't it squeak <laughs> nice simple pocket and then um, it can have a fancy what am i going with brown it can have a fancy tag in it can't it and some nice embellishment do i want a divot in it i think i'll do this one without i always put them in don't i so let's have let's have one without i've got a nice line to go on there as well to put it on Assuming it's all in straight. Hmm. This is going to be an easy one. Right, where are you going? Inside or out? Out. Oops. So Neil's back at work. Um, he's only got two shifts. We're uh, heading quickly towards when we would have been going away we've decided we're not we're going to sort of staycation as it were so he's got he's got a fortnight off work so we will we will be on holiday as it were we're going to have some days out but we're going to do some bits in the house as well and you know lots of laying in and stuff like that catching up on jobs and you know visiting people maybe <laughs> Did I turn more than I thought there? Um, let's do the same one opposite that, I think. Because it's that page, isn't it? Yeah. Let's do the same on here. Which one shall we have? They're too small. They might go nice on the page together, actually. So we'll go with this one. <clears throat> let's middle it off again, look. So yeah, I, I think I told you, did I tell you that um, we're having somebody in to decorate the hall stairs and landing, which will be lovely. And um, yeah, they'll do a really thorough job rubbing it down to, you know, nearly nearly new. <laughs> it's, uh, it's hard work. Um, and it'll all be over and done within about three, maybe four days. So we're looking forward to that. That's not happening though until the first week of December, unless it gets cancellation. But um, yeah, looking forward to that. So we'll be taking, finally taking the old stair carpet up. I don't take it up at the minute because I mean it's hideous. But um, it's it would be so loud for our next door neighbour up and down the stairs. <laughs> you know, clip clip clopping on the actual. So we'll take it up just before the. Um, I haven't got any tags, have I? I've got some small ones here cut out. Just before the uh, decorators come. Don't know what I did with my big ones. No, it's because I weren't weren't I weren't thinking about them. Now I've got this one that I, I didn't quite cut up. Shall I? Shall I cut this one up? It's not uh, not folded where I wanted it anyway. So yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be starting to decorate the living room instead while somebody's doing that. Um, let me just get me trimmer and make life a bit easier. I just want to see how this fits in here. Um, but obviously it's holidays, so we don't want to spend too much of our time doing housework, you know, uh, renovating, whatever you call it, decorating. But we will be doing a little bit. 
and when I say we I mean Neil of course <laughs> I'm uh, I help where I can but I'm not uh, I'm not a huge part of the operation I have to say that's nice isn't it it's going to be too big of course it is Denise you should have cut it down now that's got that lovely flower at the top so we'll cut the bottom should have cut it down before you rounded it that's what I was thinking and I'm not necessarily doing tags I just couldn't help myself yeah love that okay let's do the bottom again so this is this is going to go over into tomorrow which is my Sunday um, normally my scraps on Sunday so I'll save that back then something so there won't be a scraps on Sunday as such um, now if I get the embellishing done and I've still got half my video left which which might happen I um, I might do a master board or something like that with the scraps left from this from this kit I fancy making this up so I am, again I'm only I'm going to go black I'm only doing it on the thickness of the the paper it's on it's just a, a nice neat pocket isn't it it's not going to well it will be if you can glue it neat <laughs> it's not going to um, take up a lot of room but it's you know different with it being a circle something a bit different for me I might go just inside a little bit with that if I can up a bit a little bit yeah I'd rather have that like that than than hanging over yep now I might yeah I think I'll back this just to make this a little bit stronger but yeah it's gonna go in there fine isn't it um put the lid on there I heard you <laughs> and shall we back it on to um, or shall I shall I put the pocket in while we're here and then it can be drying can't it I've just about decided I want it there no I like it on there have I glued you not quite delicate operation wasn't it yeah I'm just going to glue the whole thing down on that edge and again decorate it tomorrow I'll just start the video with loads of embellishments Oops. on the desk and then just go through and play should we move it straight up or sideways should we move it sideways a little bit sideways yeah yeah and just play with all the pretty things adding them can't think why that there's no reason why it shouldn't be sideways is there no I like that um right I've just spotted here my label um is everything gonna fall over that's on them what are these these are my tag bases oh, maybe that one uh, and I was just thinking that would be a good good thing to use it won't go back where I've got it from now yeah, it's not a bad colour actually either if I ink it um, where's that again I'm going to glue shall I glue stick it no I will use this because the glue stick will wet it and we'll be waiting forever to put it in I think I cut this round with my hole punch think I did so maybe I'll be able to do that again when it's dry so I'll just cut it down there and leave it to dry and then I'll be able to punch it okay so that's going in there so where were we at this one yeah do I want one of these Or do I want one of these? I think I'll go with this one. It's a nice big one, isn't it? 
um, and I think that'll take a postcard as well. Is it too big? Um, I mean, there is a natural line there. That's better, isn't it? Yeah, that suits me better, I think. Yeah. Let's the lid off again. I don't suppose it matters if you're constantly using it like this. And it has recently ish been filled, so. Yeah, so, so far I'm not creating anything new other than using the kit pieces, maybe in a slightly different way, but at the moment you're looking slanty to me now, but you're down. Don't spread that ink. It could just be me, could be the way I've cut it. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking again, yeah. Or maybe something bigger than ink. Take a nice big piece, that won't it? Okay, how many have we got in? One. Uh, yeah, we'll count that as one. Two. Three. Four. Okay, so we only want a couple more in each one. So let's have a look. So that's got a card in, that's got a card in. So we really need just some journaling probably there. That's got one in. That's got some journaling. That's got one in. Maybe something on this one or this one then. Yeah, perhaps this one. And then I think that will do for the um, pockets. Right. So I've got, I could put a postcard down. I could put one of these down. That's quite nice, isn't it? Let's ink all the white bits that I've left behind. Oh dear. I think that dobber has definitely had it now, Denise. I don't feel like I've had it on that long, to be honest. Now, am I going to put anything behind this? As in um, acetate. So that it will go in Or am I going to just put a pretty in there and make the pocket behind it? Oops, something like this. It would be nice with acetate in it, won't it? I think I ought to go see if I can find some. Okay, I've found some. It's a uh, oh, very thick very thick acetate so where is me I want it on this window don't I it is just about the right size so I want a little bit off can't even see to cut it I think I, I cut it to this size while the camera was off on the uh, on the guillotine I thought I'd done it the right size but it Definitely it's too big to glue in there. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, I'll just. It's so hard to see, isn't it? That's better. You can see it that way better. Is it not square? Okay, that way. So. Um, hmm. I can put a lot on here, can't I? Because it's not on show. If you see what I mean. Because I'm going to put the pocket behind it. Is that the way? Now, I don't know how long this is going to take to dry because I don't use it very often. I've bought a 12 sheets of it and I've got 11 and a half left and I've had it ages so that shows you how often I use it okay so if that's going to go on there then something's going to go behind there um that's the other piece isn't it so does it want to divot 
or do we want the back taller? Thinking I'd like a little, just a tiny divot. What do you think? And is there a right way and a wrong way up? Maybe. In the middle? You'll do. <laughs> oh, it did it okay anyway. Yeah, prefer that. Just prefer that little divot there. Lovely colours, these papers. I know I keep saying it, but they're so nice to work with. Yeah, it's not quite in the middle, but never mind. I'll make it a bit further that way and then it will be. It's not far off. <laughs> That's it. Perfect. Well, I don't know. I don't know about perfect. But yeah, so I think it's just as simple as gluing this onto the ear. Let's try it. <laughs> I have done them before, but a long time ago. I think it might have been Edith Holden project well over a year ago since I last did these so yeah maybe these are going to be my new my new thing for a little while that's lovely and that's that's all without having your own um, envelope CD envelope okay it's going to go here, isn't it, didn't we say? Now it could also be a double. And what are we going to have inside it? Probably one of the, um, yeah, one of these cut down and backed. What do we think? What do we like for? It's an awful lot off. But I'm going to back it and it needs to go inside, so it definitely needs some off that way. Definitely. I don't unhinge that until it's... unhinge it? <laughs> unglue it until it's properly set. much because I don't want it to show over the, the sides there but yeah that's it I was trying to and it's too big as well but I want a tab on it yeah so if I back that that's going to fit easily trim the top down and put a tab on we're not supposed to be doing tags today, are we? But at least I've got a piece ready. Um, yeah, I won't do it today because it needs... I'll put it back in there so I don't lose it, but I just want to put this down. And again, this might have some some embellishment going on. So I'm, I'm going to put the whole thing down. I think one tag in there will be enough. And there's lots of journaling space on the page opposite, isn't there? This is more for pretty. Just thinking I didn't ink round it again, but it's got a fair bit of ink on it, hasn't it? Oh, gosh, you went down quick. Yeah, lovely. A chunky-ish piece now. So I will put this, whoops. I'll put this in here so I know it belongs to that. So was that my last piece in the front? One and one in there, two. Journaling, pocket. <laughs> Journaling, pocket. Pocket, journaling. 
and I've stopped counting but yeah that's more than enough and I need something in here that big bow is starting to uh, that big knot is starting to make a bit of a hole there I'll have to have a look at that okay so in the back we want one more don't we I think we want one more three oh no maybe we're there let's count then one two three four five and five in the back one two three four hmm. five or six yeah i thought we wanted one more in the back right have i got pages stuck together or yes there look that's a spare page oops that's a spare page or something on the back spare page yeah this one i think isn't it yeah let's do something on this one right have i got a postcard down at all don't think i have have i as a pocket which i like um let me just gather up and see i want something that contrasts I like the stamp on that one as well. Lots of things here that are going to make tags and journal cards. Not that they want to go on. Yep, I think it's going to be that one then. Okay, how easy was that? So, shall I cut it or no? Um, no, I'm not going to. But I'm going to make it ever so slightly less tall. Not a lot, but a little. There we go. Yeah, I prefer that. And I think I'll brown. I'll go brown this one in brown. For no other reason than that's what I fancied. <laughs> and am I going to div it? Just a little. Just to show what it is. Yeah, I'm lovely. Why I've had an easy time of it. Under full. <laughs> well, it'll be mostly fun tomorrow, won't it? Because it will be all um just popping some tags in and then like I say, uh, I'll get the tags ready. So all we've got to do is embellish them and the pages so a little bit like i said a a desk full of embellishments and we'll be off and if it doesn't take long if they all just show me where they want to go instantly we'll do a, a some kind of a scrappy make with what's left okay so can i stick this on the inside and the back now do we think what shall i I'll just put something in there in case but i'm sure it's I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, let's do this one. The right way up. So we're thinking here. I know it's embellishing and I said I'd do it tomorrow, but as soon as I'm putting the back one on. No, I won't. I'll just put the back one on because that is embellishing and I might I might regret it afterwards. I might think, why didn't I put some lace under it or Yeah, I'll just put this one on and I'm going to use Fabri Tac because it's going over that. dry a, a second or two so it's not going to smudge anywhere and I've got it the right way up that looks central enough lovely yeah nice just holding that I think that can sit on that no problem okay so hope you enjoyed that it um not a real long video but that's good for my <laughs> for my sitting at the moment and i got everything done i wanted to do all we need to do now is like i say pop some tags in and embellish and it's been a lovely quick
quick project. Okay, chat to me in the comments, give me a thumbs up, um, have a lovely day and hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.